What's going on guys, Gary Yaman here, back at it again with a new video. Hope everybody feeling safe and is fine. Let's begin right away with reviewing this, the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019. But first, before we begin with this, with reviewing this big boy right here, this is my own personal computer, the 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2017. This is just a base model, nothing very special, very good for photo editing, I use Lightroom, I use Luminar, and everything works perfectly fine. Nice screen. I don't really care much about the um, keyboard because I use it like 50% out of the time on my Apple Cinema display with a external keyboard and mouse. But doing more YouTube videos, doing more video work, this becomes very slow and very sluggish. Put in some clips, these are all 4K 25 frames per second clips from my Sony a7 III. Nothing special, no color grading stuff. And as you see, it just, you know, trying to scrub through. But we are now here in DaVinci Resolve. And see here as well, it's also very choppy. All right, finish in two minutes and 41 seconds in DaVinci Resolve the Sony A7S III footage and I'm going to try see if I can do anything with it. Um, see if we can we can do anything. Oh, oh. oh, oh. yes as you see is this computer is not suitable. So I thought to myself let's upgrade from this 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro the base model to a bigger bad boy and that is this one right here the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019 but does it work well for my own needs I know for photo editing it works really well but what about video editing so here are some screen captures and let's see how it uh, scrubs through things Seems to be working really fine, right? Let's play it. A little lag here and there, but still really good. And let's see, 4K, 24 frames per second, Sony A7S III footage. All right. It is something at least. It is struggling guys as you see. It is struggling hard. Here in DaVinci Resolve this is the um, this is now on the 16 inch MacBook Pro and I got here the same clips. Let's see how this scrubs through things. It's a little bit on the choppy side, right? A little bit. See how it plays. Run smoothly. This is just normal 4K, 25 frames per second, no color editing, straight out of camera. And as you see, things are looking really good. 40 seconds video timeline in 22 seconds. So that is very impressive. Very impressive. As you see, just normal 4K editing and all that stuff. Looks really good and it's very easy to work with both in DaVinci Resolve and in Final Cut Pro. But once you put extra stuff in it, it becomes a little bit laggy, becomes a little bit choppy. I was not expecting that. This is not the spec'd out, fully spec'd out version. This is like the mid-tier version of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I was actually expecting a little bit more out of this laptop so i was a little bit disappointed because this one cost around 2700 euros which is quite a lot of money so yeah i think i need something else for my video editing work i even tried to put some sony a7s 3 footage on it and it just you know it was not powerful enough to take care of that kind of footage and i know you can also uh like optimize the media and defend your resolve and all that stuff but that will just slow down all your uh, workflow and I don't really like that I just want to plug it in put the files in there and just go with it but video editing 
this is not it for me at least. I also tried some other things. I also tried to put some gaming stuff on it. Ooh, the fans are kicking in, bro. Ooh. Ooh. What the hell is this? Ah, man. It makes a whole bunch of noise, man. The fan noise was really loud, but you know, it works. Put some headphones on it and uh, you will be good to go. I don't really recommend this laptop for gaming because you know, MacBooks, and gaming apple and gaming you know go with a windows pc you will be much more uh pleased with that for my own personal work i'm uh, going to stay of course with my own 13 inch macbook pro that works perfectly fine for photo editing and for my youtube videos it works for now but if i want to upgrade my cameras such as from a Sony A7 III to the Sony A7S III, I need also a different kind of computer. My quest for this computer stuff, you know, even though my channel is like 95% about photography gear, having a good computer is one of those things that you really need, um, even as a photographer or as a content creator, as they say, right? That's all, guys. That's all. Quick little review video about this 16 inch MacBook Pro. 2700 euros is quite a lot of money for a device that is still a little bit choppy for simple 4K uh, footage. So, what do you think? What should I get? Thank you again for watching. Subscribe if you really want to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Wash your hands. Wear a face mask if you need to. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Alright, bye bye.